D Day, right here. Hey, okay, they can't stop me. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. You are listening to Ethan Van Skyver, 25 year veteran of the comic book industry. Great big Star Wars fan. Sick as a dog with a cold today, but I'm going to power through this anyway. I don't care. I've got to speak to you guys. I've got to let you know. Uh, you know, I got some, I got a little bit of extra information. Some things have come to light. Uh, and I want to reiterate Star Wars rumor. Uh, this is a, this is an article, uh, on Screen Rant. Oh my God, Screen Rant. Um, from June, June 6th. Uh, this was right around the time that the, um, rumor was getting around. And I had this kind of confirmed. Uh, for me by a number of people, anonymous insiders, I don't know who they are, I can't validate their word, but it was interesting that they were all saying the same thing. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy was taken into Bob Iger's office the weekend after Solo premiered, Soilo, a Soy War story, and at that point, um, her disastrous, uh, disastrous leadership of Disney Lucasfilm was assessed. Um, she was told that she was going to be removed uh, Bob Iger had a problem. Apparently, he could not find an adequate, suitable replacement for Kathleen Kennedy, so she was going to stay on in, in kind of name only to, to sort of organize things for her departure and for her incoming replacement. That is why Kathleen Kennedy has not been seen. She's gone. Uh, we don't know. Um, yeah, we don't know where she is. We don't know what she's doing. Uh, she uh, has disappeared effectively uh, as the figurehead of Lucasfilm, of course, because she is no longer uh, the leader. She is no longer the president of Lucasfilm. She is gone. Uh, some interesting stuff uh, goes along with that. Yesterday, I reported that Ryan Johnson's trilogy was canceled and scrapped. Um, that is also rumored, but it certainly does make sense because Ryan Johnson served at the pleasure of Her Majesty uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, his movie, uh, even though uh, it made a big profit, I mean, it's it's still sitting above $1 billion. Uh, that's what it, the box office take. Uh, it was divisive, disastrous, and probably led uh, to the loss of faith uh, with fans from Soylo, a Soy War story, which ended up losing eighty million dollars at least. That's all we're you know that's all they're telling us. We're sure that it lost far more than that. So um, rumors came out Kathleen Kennedy will be stepping down in September. Why? Uh, let's read this article for let's let's just refresh our memory about you know uh, from Screen Rant here. Uh, Cooper Hood. What a great name, Cooper Hood. Kathleen Kennedy may leave Lucasfilm if the latest Star Wars rumor is true. Following decades of producing massive hits from Steven Spielberg like Indiana Jones, E.T., Jurassic Park, uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know if I can I don't know if Kathleen Kennedy's fingerprint uh, is exactly on any of these things other than just her name in the uh, in the opening titles. We've seen what Kathleen Kennedy does. She does not have good creative instincts. She doesn't. She has terrible creative instincts. How can somebody um, shepherd the return of Star Wars, actually have the original cast all lined up uh, to be in the movie, and never offer the crowd-pleasing and much-anticipated, in fact, expected moment where Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia all share the screen together? Why? Why? She has spent her time on Star Wars disgracing each one of Luke of, of George Lucas's original trilogy uh, characters, her the icons. Uh, the first movie, she disgraced Han Solo. That was embarrassing. That was terrible. Second movie, she disgraced Luke Skywalker. Uh, Solo, she disgraced uh, Lando Calrissian. She even disgraced the Millennium Falcon. It's now called the Millennial Flamingo. Uh, you know, by Comic Artist Pro Secrets subscribers. Uh, and this last movie, I think she was planning on um, disgracing Princess Leia, but Carrie Fisher is no longer with us. Oh, don't worry. Uh, they have some footage in a can. They have a little... I'm sorry, Carrie Fisher. Uh, death did not spare you. They are still going to embarrass you. Uh, they do have a little bit of footage a la Bella Lugosi uh, and Ed Wood's Plan 9 from Outer Space. They are going to build an entire feature film around scrapped footage from The Force Awakens. Oh, and also scrapped footage from the disastrous, embarrassing humiliation of Star Wars The Last Jedi. They actually have footage. They're going to use it. Sorry, I, I was I was excited for uh, 
for the fact that they were going to have to figure out a new character to disgrace. They were going to bring back Billy D. Williams and disgrace him as an old man. They disgraced him as a young man. They're going to disgrace him as an old man. Uh, but no, they still found a way. They still found a way to uh, disgrace Princess Leia. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, in the meantime, Kathleen Kennedy doesn't seem to have much of a role in Star Wars Episode Nine. Uh, it seems the creative reins have been completely turned over to J.J. Abrams. Uh, and that's probably for the best. With the launch of The Force Awakens, she wasn't uh, proved why she wasn't given the task. The film broke uh, almost every record in the book, but that wasn't enough. It wasn't, it wasn't enough. Uh, Solo was disappointing at the box office, and this could all lead to Kennedy possibly leaving the studio. Yeah, leaving via uh, you know, the inertia of being booted out. Of course she's leaving the studio. She's going in the opposite direction of the door, okay? Um, yeah, th this should all come as a, you know, grain take this with a, a major grain of salt because, of course, dork side of the force is garbage tier, and they were reporting on the accuracy of this. Here's why. Why September? Why is she staying on until September? Well, September is actually uh, the end of uh, fiscal year. Uh, it's the fourth quarter um, for Disney. Um Let's see here. Do, do, do. September 2000 uh, or September 29th, 2018. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy will be gone before this date. I don't know if it's going to be on this date or before this date, but this is when Disney has to uh, Disney has to address the shareholders, and uh, Disney is going to have to explain away um, why uh, you know they are actually they've lost money uh, on something like Solo. They should have made more profit. They should have made more profit. Um, but anyway, uh, the reports to shareholders uh, will will follow um, this date. Uh, last year's uh, shareholders were supposedly upset Disney made uh, didn't make as much profit as they uh, projected. Uh, this year, they've shelled out a lot more money. Uh, they bought Fox. They're building Star Wars Land, Toy Story Land, major infrastructure changes in the roadways around the resort properties, uh, expansions at Epcot, and then you have something like Soylo, a Soy War story bombing. Uh, fallout from The Last Jedi, etc. Um, basically, they're going to eject Kathleen Kennedy um, yeah, to appease the shareholders, to say this is what we're doing to fix these problems. And that makes perfect sense. Um, all of this is uh, going to hopefully uh, alleviate the bad reaction uh, that the shareholders are going to, uh, the stockholders are going to have uh, to the reports from the fourth quarter uh, for Disney, uh, year end. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it just kind of, it all adds weight. It all lends credence, okay, uh, as to why they waited until September. Kathleen Kennedy had this kind of time to make some uh, organized changes uh, to um, scrap the projects that she had in the works. We now know for a fact Obi-Wan Kenobi's uh, movie, um, as understood at least or planned by Kathleen Kennedy, uh, is on the scrap heap. Ewan McGregor said it's not happening. He's not doing it. Before he said, I don't know if I'm going to be, all right, yeah, I think he's going to be in episode nine. Um, but when it comes to an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, at least the one that may have been planned by this lunatic, uh, it's not happening. Uh, it is scrapped. Now, when uh, Kathleen Kennedy's replacement comes in, I have no doubt, no doubt at all, that those plans will be altered, revisited. Uh, they, everything will be restructured. Uh, I, I expect uh, and I hope for an actual Obi-Wan Kenobi trilogy that takes place on Tatooine. Um, but all of Kathleen Kennedy's work... Uh, has been brought to a screeching halt, uh, and that uh, I think that is probably uh, probably for uh, for the very very best. Uh, so this is great. I mean, look at this. Uh, you guys, these might as well be force ghosts. You're out of here. Uh, you're you're out of here, and because you're out of here, this clown is out of here, and because this clown is out of here, uh, this clown is out of here. Well, you know, I mean, he is he is silly. This is uh, this gentleman here. Uh, produces uh, and he, he helps out Ryan Johnson. Uh, he um, he said that <laughs> the trilogy was going to start in 2020. I don't think, I, I honestly do not think uh, the left hand knows what the right hand is doing over at Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm. We need to bring stability, stability back to uh, Lucasfilm. Uh, here's hoping Dave Filoni is going to be Kathleen Kennedy's replacement. A lot of people have given me reason to doubt that that's going to be the case, um, but. Uh, I don't really care as long as she's gone and he's gone. I think you can only go upwards from there. Uh, on the other hand, 
No, I can't. I can't. You know, I don't want to challenge Lucasfilm and Disney uh, to do even worse than Kathleen Kennedy because I fear uh, that they will impress me. Join the fandom menace and execute your own Order 66 with our incredible line of t-shirts, Soy Low, A Soy Wars Story, Tico, A Soy Wars Story, and our brand new smoking hot Soy Wars Plan 9. Make a statement today. This is the only trilogy you'll ever need. The link is below in the description. Hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Okay, cool. I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. Talk to you there. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.